The Cathedral High School boys hockey team skated through a great regular season and right into the playoffs this year. For many years now, Cathedral's hockey team has been a powerhouse in western Massachusetts and beyond. But perhaps no more than this year was the team's story more inspiring to the entire community. The Cathedral High School boys hockey team was undefeated in the regular season this year and made it to the semifinals of the state Super 8 tournament. But hopes for a state title were dashed Wednesday night as number one ranked Cathedral lost in sudden death overtime to number five St. John's Prep by a score of four to three. While the loss ended their season, the boys, their coach, and the Cathedral community have plenty to be proud of with a record of 22 wins, one loss, and two ties. The student athletes say that enjoying the overall experience means more than wins and losses. It's been great. I mean, I love this team. I love everybody here. I mean, couldn't ask for a better group of guys. There's so much chemistry. Everybody gets along. We have a great time. We all work hard. The Panthers did work hard in their final game played at the Songus Center in Lowell, fighting back each time they were down. St. John's led one to nothing after the first period and added a goal in the second, but the Panthers pushed back, ultimately tying the game at two. St. John's scored again in the third period, with less than a minute to go, it looked like the end for Cathedral until John Leonard tied it again with 50 seconds to play. But the celebration was short-lived. St. John's found the back of the net just a little more than one minute into the sudden death overtime. Cathedral head coach Brian Foley says doing well on the ice is only part of what he hopes the boys learned from their experiences. We stress a lot of you know life life experiences and life skills and uh, you know what's important long term and you know camaraderie, the loyalty, the friendship, the love for one another, respect, and uh, just you know try and get them to leave here with a good work ethic and a uh, you know desire to attain goals. Uh, be it academic, real life, long-term goals. Speaking of the long-term, most of the boys have been playing hockey their whole lives. Uh, I've been playing hockey for a while, probably out in the front yard with my dad when I was like two or three and then got on skates around four and then started playing competitively when I was five. Uh, I just love the sport. It's taught me so much in life. You learn so much stuff you can't learn anywhere else. So it's, it's a great experience and I wouldn't change it for anything. For many years, Cathedral has put excellent hockey teams on the ice. They are the only Division I-A hockey program in Western Mass. Coach Foley says the 2014-2015 squad will be remembered as a team that worked well together. There's been a lot of great Cathedral teams, a lot of, a lot of Cathedral alumni, you know, and, and I think the kids understand that they're playing for so much more than they even realize with the amount of alumni that are out there that are pulling for these kids. And, um, you know, we, we, we talk about that with, you know, the alumni, the hockey alumni, the kids who really got the program on the map, and these kids have just taken it to a new level. Pete Cronella, who will be playing hockey and studying economics at Holy Cross College in Worcester next year, says Coach Foley and the other coaches taught him a great deal. They're very personal. They teach you to carry yourself like a hockey player and like uh, you're representing the school wherever you go. Try to be as respectful as, pos uh, as possible and to re represent the school as it truly should be represented. I think Coach Foley's really taught me how to be a leader. He's a great guy. He, he gives you every opportunity you could ever want. He's a great coach. Not only a great coach, but he's, he, uh, he's a great mentor to me. He means so much and he's taught me so much in these four years, the stuff that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. The program should fare well in the season to come despite losing five players to graduation this year. St. John's Prep will go on to face Malden Catholic tomorrow at the TD Garden in Boston for the state championship. Congratulations to the Cathedral Boys Hockey Program. They can be very proud of the way they represented the Cathedral community.